Hello everyone and welcome to the Fight Club first anniversary video. For those who don't know, Fight Club is a Discord community with a survival MMO and melee slasher core originally created back in May 16th, 2020 to host Last Oasis Jewel Arenas. Now over this past year, it has evolved into a no man's land for members of all different clans to interact and with the decline in popularity of Last Oasis, we have also started branching out into other games. Now, I could never have imagined that me running around on a Schmetterling hosting jewels could have turned into an almost 1,000 member community and growing. I really hope that we continue to grow, enjoying whatever betas we can get our filthy hands on, and hopefully some new main games in the upcoming years. Personally, I'm really looking forward to Myth of Empires and Renown, and can't wait to see Salt Chat flowing again. Now then, on to this year's annual Sweaty Rupu nominations. I'll be doing these every year from now on, varying in the number of roles that I give out each time. Today I will be crowning 30 individuals based on skill, activity, contribution to Fight Club or the community, memes and memories that they have produced, and the time they have been around for. But just before I get into our first Sweaty Rupu, I want to give a massive thank you to everyone that has been chatting, moulding, and even just lurking in the Discord chats over this past crazy year. Also a very special thank you to those who have hosted servers for us and donated to the various Patreons we have made along the journey. It has really helped out a bunch and has gone a very long way. So then, to begin with, I want to congratulate Tilt. When asked who deserves Sweaty Rupu, his name was one of the two that I kept seeing the most. He has been around for a very long time and has seen some crazy melee growth. Being his first melee game, it's amazing how he manages to place on the top spot of the Fight Club rank sheet and is a name that is mentioned any time good melee players becomes the topic of a conversation. The other name I kept seeing the most was of course Rito. I've been lucky enough to watch this guy grow from the very beginning of season 1, being a Spanish farmer Bob who was amazed at what a spin was to now a renowned guild leader and shot caller. I think Rito is one of those names that will always be remembered when thinking back to Last Oasis, as almost all clans he has led have chewed up their opponents harder than Rito chews raw spaghetti. You know, if he ever did run from a fight, I'm not sure the opposition could keep their eyes off of that ass. Anyways, on to our third sweaty Rupu, Constantine. On the topic of great shot callers, I think this guy will always hold the crown in many people's minds. The accomplishments of cleaners will always remain as a legendary tale in the community and hopefully more people will get to know the chill guy that he is as he branches out to different clans and different games. Yes, what is it? Mm. Moving on, I have to give a rank to Captain Carnage. Up there for being one of the sexiest in the community, he also never gave up on our main games when the rest of us did. Being our resident friendly streamer, I hope that we can continue to farm doubloons in his chat as we continue on to our next main game. I also have to give Carnage the award for possibly the best Last Oasis clip. If you are active in Fight Club, then I'm sure you will agree. Okay, okay, okay. Don't you ever do that again on stream! That's fucking animal cruelty, man! What the fuck are you doing? Finish! Oh my god, it was Finnish. <laughs> Similarly, Ekus has surely been the most loyal to Last Oasis out of all of us, clocking in possibly the most hours and reaching level 60 countless times days within each wipe. If you're ever bored and need someone in the background to listen to, Ekus is probably live and waiting for you to come share some bamboo, or red bananas for that matter. Another content creator is Nex, someone who yet again has stayed with Elo for the long run. He is actually one of the first guys to join Fight Club and has consistently been around in the community, posting videos for new features and trying to help out the newer player base. Yet another YouTuber we have had with us for some time now is Bushman. Initially out there trying to help the solo guys, he has finally conformed to the group play mindset. He has recently started streaming a bit more and I'm sure we can all look forward to seeing Scallywags kicking about in the next few games we play. 
Draven has also made some pretty cool videos as well, highlighting some of the more memorable and salty moments of Last Oasis. While not around quite as long as some of these guys, he has made his mark on the community and I'm sure will spearhead some of the party games we all end up playing. For my ninth pick, Dynast will finally be getting a sweaty Rupu roll. After a long year of begging, I have finally given in to his requests. But no, in all seriousness, Dynast has been the puppet master behind some of the more memorable moments of Last Oasis, has some of the best copy pastas for when we are all bored, and has recently aided in revamping the Fight Club Discord so that everything runs smoother. If Dynast is around, you can be sure that someone's balls are going into someone's mouth. Benji Minotaur, I was blinded by your grace, and my actions left the path of Jesus. Yes. I was I was not aware I was not aware that my actions would end me up in the fight club gulag. Please unban me. And Okay. XOXO dinosaurs. There you go. There we go. I accept your apology. At number 10, Newt has spent a lot of time in Fight Club and has gotten better and better at melee over the year to the point where he is among some of the top players in the game. He has sunk his fair share of hours into the Fight Club server and contributed towards some top tier casting of community events. Hopefully he sticks around and we can see him playing with us again in the future. Talking about community events, McLean's performance as Cobra CEO in the 10v10 tournament was a sight to behold. Not only that, but he is always talking in Fight Club, having been around since the early days and popularising some of the better memes and copy pastas, as well as editing quite a few good videos together. He is quite a likeable character and I hope we see more of him during the Myth of Empires era before he eventually ends up leaving like a mystery and shit. For number 12, it is the Gulag Master himself, Lorand. Renowned for his masterful logistic planning, resulting in the success of many clans including Beta Branch winners SGB, Lorand has definitely given back to the community in many ways. Being the generous guy he is, I have heard that he gives out tablets in the early hours of the morning and contributes greatly to the salt chat every once in a while for our entertainment. Someone else who spends a lot of time in salt chat is Killiman Yara. Killy has dedicated quite a lot of time into Fight Club, spending tons of time hosting game modes with Tally who sadly is no longer with us, and being top 5 on the chat at leaderboard. As cool as he might be, I kind of wish I hadn't seen some of the pictures of the guy that he posted in the past. Nevertheless, Killy will surely be with us for the foreseeable future, probably full screening my webcam on his second monitor anytime I stream with it. Talking about second monitors, I could have never forgotten about NHS. If you have been around for a while, you know who NHS is. Although he is mute, he sure does draw out a lot of emotion and is the best content scouter I have ever met. He is pretty hard to dislike and I hope NHS stays with us as a contact through Ganda in the future. Regardless, I'm sure he will be lurking in any of the streams that may be going on and constantly griefing you, subjecting you to a world of pain. On the topic of stream lurking, I'm sure all of us that have streamed Last Oasis have a special place in our hearts for Bambino. Bambino has been the sugar daddy of the community, always contributing to tournament prize pools and gifting subs to new streamers, potentially giving them the boost to want to keep streaming and providing content for the rest of us. I know that he normally likes to keep himself anonymous, but he deserves the gratitude for what he has done, and a personal big big thank you from me. In one of those tournaments, we were lucky enough to discover Jin. For a while Jim went under the radar, but once he spent some time on Fight Club, people realised his potential and skill. While he might not be an Air Force commando like our other beloved Frenchman, he sure can hold his ground in melee and is a product of what Fight Club was initially all about. Ayeshi has also always been looking to improve. If you were ever looking for some practice, Ayeshi was there to join you. Although he was never the most talkative, Ayeshi has been around in many of the pivotal fights of Last Oasis and I'm hoping to catch his name popping up amongst the hordes of bobs going forward as he always seems to find a way to laugh about a fight with or against me. Tanella's laugh is also something you will never forget. Despite his somewhat sour reputation from Fight Club Salt, Tanella can always find a way to make a moment laughable, whether that be through his signature laughter or excessive moulding. Either way, looking at the resolution that he plays at is also pretty funny too. Oh shit. 
No way. No way, you're so stupid. <laughs> oh no no. <laughs> A glass or what? Yes. <laughs> Joining us as our first female sweaty Rupu is Malinsky. While she has not been around for the longest time by any means, that time that she has been has been spent quite a lot within the Fight Club community and server. She always strives to be better in melee, and I'm certain she will be sticking around with us for the foreseeable future, seeing as she has not yet been scared away by some of the weirdest clans in the game. Why is everyone getting farmed by Malinsky, man? Team! Come on, team! What the fuck? Malinsky's insane. Continuing on with our diversity, our first NA Sweaty Rupu will be Trig. Despite the bad ping, Trig has always found the time to play in Fight Club, join into game modes, and give us EU boys a look into how the NA side is doing. I've rarely ever seen the guy molding, and he has only ever given off good vibes. I mean, you kind of have to be a chill guy to be able to play with that high ping. Gemini has also been another one that's been around since day one, helping to farm and host some of the first Fight Club arenas on officials. He is always trying to boost up the community and refine some strange metas, but regardless has always been a strong voice in the community. Hopefully he can continue to flex that Twitch tick and get us all beta access to a few games in the future. Banana Order is also a day two Fight Club member who always shows his face every once in a while. Banana is always partaking in community, whether that be Last Oasis or especially the variety of other games that we are attempting to branch out to. With that being said, he will definitely stay with us, sitting back and poking at the fire in Salt Chat. For number 23, I'm going to be giving it to Wolfie. He dived into the game at the deep end, somehow starting in SGB despite our semi-strict recruitment. Since then, despite keeping to himself most of the time, he is very competitive when it comes down to tournaments and strives to always get better. Similar to a lot of people who do not play as much nowadays, I hope to see him around again in the near future. Someone else I hope to see returning to us is Joshi. Whether that be in the next main games or just trying to get the Mordhau chats more active, Joshi can normally get some chat flowing. He has been around for some time and has jumped in a variety of different clans, so hopefully he has drawn some positive influence and can continue our generation of melee gamers. Joining him of course would be Sylvan, someone who has spent a lot of time in the Fight Club Discord and servers. He has attended many of the game modes tournaments and is pretty high on both the typing and melee leaderboards. I have good reason to believe that he will be with us for some time, perhaps making it to the top one day. Dazzy is next up. Some would say that in his prime he was already at the top. He is not that talkative in Fight Club but still sprinkles a bit of salt here and there. However, he was recommended by a few of the previous Sweaty Rupus to uphold the tradition of bringing in solid and improving players. I'm anxious to cross paths with him again as I'm assuming he sticks around with tenderballs but it should still be a good laugh when it eventually comes down to it. At number 27, Coochie will take a spot for Sweaty Rupu. Kuchi has always been around in Fight Club and really came to light and found his confidence around the game mode era. He has always been a solid player with a chill attitude and is always nice to have in your clan or melee lineup. There is definitely more to come from Kuchi as we move into Season 2 of Fight Club. Bjorn is my next sweaty Rupu. Having also been around since the very beginning, the guy has grown as a player and member of the community. He has always been around in the chats and has gotten exponentially better over the years, spending a lot of time dueling and in game modes as well as participating in most of the tournaments that have been held throughout the seasons. Nearing the end of the list we have Thomas, yet another OG Fight Club member who has grown in both skill and personality as he has spent more time with us and transitioned between different clans. Yet again, Thomas is another one of those chill guys who is always nice to have in your lineup, able to play well and keep a level head in most situations. Finally, for my last spot at number 30, we have Sayuki. Sayuki, like many others on this list, have been with us since the very first three days of Fight Club's birth and has been lucky enough to grace the Schmetterling Arena. Being one of the older members of our community, Sayuki has always been pretty laid back and just enjoys getting into a fight like the rest of us. I look forward to spending more time with him, as well as the rest of you in future games to come. And with that being said, I will conclude this year's annual Sweaty Rupu allocations. 
Yet again, I want to say thank you to all the people that have helped both Fight Club and my communities grow. I have enjoyed almost every moment of it, and I'm excited for another year. On a side note, I may consider ramping up the content here on YouTube, so be sure to subscribe and watch this space for more as new games roll out. All in all, thanks a lot if you watched all the way through. I thought it would only be right for me to say some nice words after a long year of mould. Have a good rest of your day, and I will see you very, very soon. In a bit.